Hello and welcome friends. I am Lindsay, the Outreach Manager for Evan Healy, and I'm joined today by our incredible holistic estheticians to present to you our Autumn Skin Ritual Facial. I am joined by our holistic estheticians, Dorothea Johnson, Stephanie Cote, Jennifer Bertrand, and Shirley Jo Aiken, where each one will feature and demonstrate a portion of this autumn skin ritual that will feature oil cleansing, facial massage, clay masking, and our signature oil and water ritual that features generous layerings of our beautiful organic hydrosols and oil serums. So as a holistic skincare line, we are inspired by nature and its cycles. And with this, these profound rhythms of nature play an important part in skincare, but they also play an important part of all of the traditions and our ancestors and the cycles of the earth and the sun. This beautiful romantic cycle that happens every year and autumn is one of my favorites. So during this time, um, we love to take some time to honor nature and take some time to observe it as well. So autumn is ushered in by the autumnal equinox on September 22nd. And on this day, the hours of daytime and nighttime are equal. And it is a time that we honor the harvest and the incredible bounty that the earth provides. And at the same time, the harvest is sort of woven into the wheel of the year as part of the cycles of life. And as autumn progresses, we honor the cycles of death as we see the leaves falling from the trees and the earth go barren. And so this type of cycle of life death, and then on to rebirth and regeneration. And when we think about these cycles, we can also think about our skin and how we can best serve our ad adaptation to these cycles. So at this time, we think about, you know, our autumnal plant allies. And one of our favorites is pomegranate. Pomegranate seed oil is such an incredible plant ally as our skin is coming out of the summer months where we maybe experienced a little bit extra sun on our skin. And so the regenerative properties of pomegranate are so incredible at this time of the year. And so when we think about pomegranate, there are these ancient traditions that revered the pomegranate and it kind of... Um, went across many traditions actually. And the goddess Persephone is often associated with the pomegranate. And Persephone is the goddess of the underworld and death at that same time. But she's also the goddess of flowers and rebirth and the spring. So when you think about um, regeneration and pomegranate, it, it has that same benefit for our skin. And so it is rich in a compound called punicic acid, also known as omega-5, which supports keratin production in the skin. And it's brimming with antioxidants. And it is a great um, plant ally for skin that's coming out of the summer months with sun damage or hyperpigmentation, but it's also great for aging skin, which might be thinning. We also think about another plant ally, rose geranium, which is our favorite dermal adaptogen and helps our skin adapt to the changing climates. As we go into autumn and fall, the winds are brimming up. We might feel some dryness. Our skin is always in need of hydration and um, rose geranium helps our skin adapt to these changes in the climate. And so with that, we're going to show you a little skin ritual featuring these and more plant allies um, woven throughout. And at this moment, I would love to invite on um, Jen to show you the next portion and um, intention setting for our ritual. Welcome, Jen. Thank you so much, Lindsay. I'm going to walk us through the first steps of our ritual, and I would love to start by taking a deep breath as a community. So a nice deep breath in through the nose, and then sigh it out. Now focusing 
me personally on my breath. Um, I'm noticing where it may be uneven or rushed and I'm going to smooth it out and notice if I leave, if I lose track throughout the ritual. The intention that I am thinking of for this ritual is release and expand. So release anything that's not serving, any remnants from the previous season, any relationships, habits, situations, anything that's no longer serving. Let's just take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, just release it and let it go. And then we'll be expanding into that space and filling it up with anything that we are hoping to accomplish or, or experience um, throughout the autumn season and into the new year and beyond. To start the cleansing and softening process, I am going to spray my skin with the Tulsi Hydrosol, about 24 sprays. Tulsi is ideal for dull, congested, or stressed skin, and the changing of the seasons definitely does create stress. I love deeply inhaling there. The holy basil plant is one of my favorite plant allies, and I love the way it smells. The cleanser I'll be using is a nourishing cleansing oil, which is ideal for softening blackheads and congestion and soothing irritation in the skin. And I will be mixing it with the vetiver hinoki body oil. If you're not sensitive to essential oils, then you can use any of the body oils on the face as well. But I'm gonna start out by applying a little bit of the body oil to other parts besides my face, my actual body. So a little on the hands. Adding a deeply grounding oil like that of Renoki really helps this feel a little more special and sacred. And it's important to create that, especially during times of transition of any kind. So just apply that anywhere you have access and then we can mix those two together. So several pumps of the nourishing cleansing oil, a couple of pumps of the body oil, and then add lots of water. And I added a little bit of the body oil to my, um, to my bowl of water as well, because why not? So we'll just massage that in. So see, I had already kind of lost track of my, my breathing and I was about to rush through that. So go slow. We're really hoping to soothe the nervous system here as well. And that's hard to do when you're using quick movements that really revs everything up. So I'm focusing on areas of my skin that tend to be congested. And I do get a little red and irritated around the nose and a little bit of congestion in the chin and cheeks. So I'm gonna focus there. And then compress it off. And compressing off is just a fancy way to say, use a washcloth and remove it from the skin. If you like double cleansing, then you can follow up this cleanse with one of the cleansing milks or the tea tree gel cleanser, or you can mix um, a tea tree, a, a little tiny, tiny quarter pump of tea tree gel with one of the cleansing milks. If you like, there's no wrong way to use our products. So you'll notice after removing that, that your skin will feel soft and supple. And I'm going to finish up with the rose geranium hydrosol. It's bright and floral. And like Lindsay said, it's a dermal adaptogen. So it will balance out sebum levels in either direction and keep everything nice and level. And that's it. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys in the winter. 
And now I'll pass this over to Stephanie. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for the lovely intention setting and the cleanse. Um, I'm gonna be walking us through the massage portion of this. Um, and I love the rituals because this is just a great time to kind of slow down and release everything that isn't serving us anymore. Day-to-day um, -day life can get so busy and <clears throat> I love just really taking time for myself so that I have time to check in on things and see where I'm at. So I'm gonna be walking us through the massage today. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with our whipped shea with olive leaf, which is full of essential fatty acids and antioxidants. Um, so I'm just gonna take a large amount of the whipped shea and I'm gonna put it in my hand and then I'm gonna add some vetiver hinoki to it. Just like three or four pumps, nothing too crazy. And then I'm going to slow down and emulsify everything in my hands. And we can go back to our intention, which is um, release and expand. So before you start this massage, maybe think about things that you need to release. Um, any anxieties, any self-doubt, um, anything that's kind of taking you down that you don't need anymore right now. So we're gonna start with just our whole palm and we're gonna go up gently on our face. We'll do our whole palm. Just like six times, whatever feels right. And then we're gonna move over to the forehead. And we're just gonna slowly move across our forehead. Just continue to deep, uh, breathe deep, kind of check in with yourself. Can you slow down even more? Then we're gonna go around our eyes and there's a part right here that feels really good to kind of press on. So we'll just do like six, slowly around this portion. Just continuing to deep, to breathe deeply. Really try and relax into it. Just kind of holding that point. And then I really like to focus on this area right here. This is where I can get some congestion sometimes. And it's just kind of opening up those sinuses, I'm like pushing right through here. Just feels good to kind of push right in there. And you guys can continue this on as long as you feel you need to intuitively, what feels good. And then I notice I hold a lot of pressure in my jaw right here. I'm clenching my teeth sometimes. So I think it really feels good to like scissor your hands a little bit and just really work around this jawline right here. Just kind of close your eyes, fall into it. And then this part, I like to take the top of my hands like this and just really press, kind of just alleviating more of that pressure down here. You kind of see, because our lymph will drain down here. So it's good if we're pressing everything towards it and letting it drain down like this. So let's press again. We're getting all these amazing juicy essential fatty acids into our skin. And then I like to kind of go down the sides of my neck because I feel like I hold so much tension in my neck right here. Just kind of massage it, give yourself some love. Let's go on to the other side. Okay. okay, now we're gonna go back up to where we started, which is our third eye. And we're just gonna gently end our massage, pressing. 
slowing down, remembering why we're here, remembering that we love ourselves. Remember that life is amazing and beautiful and that every day is a blessing. And then I like to kind of end on the temples right here. And then I'm gonna take, I have a warm washcloth over here. And I'm actually gonna take what's still left on my skin because I got a lot of whipped shea and vetiver hanoki. And I wanna take this and I wanna try and like press it into my skin more. So I'm gonna take my washcloth and I'm really gonna start just pressing it in. Press on all those amazing oils and goodness. And then I am going to take, I have my Tulsi hydrosol, which is one of my absolute favorite hydrosols. I'm gonna finish with the Tulsi because it's gonna help kind of push my oils into my skin even more. So I do just about 15, 20 sprays. And then we're gonna press all that in. Just really get all that goodness into our skin. And then we're gonna come back to our intention again, which is to release and expand, give ourselves a little hug. Remember that we are amazing and awesome. And thank you guys. I am now gonna pass it over to Shirley Joe, who's gonna lead us through another fun massage. Thanks so much and have a great day. Hi everyone. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for leading us through that beautiful massage. And now I am going to be leading us through an Ayurvedic facial rejuvenation, uh, Marma facial rejuvenation. And what is Marma facial rejuvenation? Well, it um, is uh, born from Ayurveda and Ayurveda is a 5,000 year old uh, science from India. It literally means the science of life. And Marma or Marma points are vital, subtle energy centers throughout our body. And we have about 108 of them in our body and many are stored in our face and in our neck area. And some common well-known Marma points are our, well, our third eye for one, and then our chakra system are also just large marma points and they're energy centers. And sometimes these energy centers can be come a little obscured or blocked or stagnant. And so, so this is just a little technique that uh, you can incorporate into your daily uh, rituals. Um, and I'm just going to begin by um, misting myself with Tulsi hydrosol, another wonderful adaptogenic herb that is so great for the body and the skin. And just pressing that in, remembering the intention to release and expand. And I'm going to take some Neem Immortel Purifying Infusion, uh, just a couple pumps in the palm of my hand. I'm going to I'm vigorously rub my hands together here. You can use any oil that you love, any of our luscious butters or oils, and really create some prana, some energy and warmth in our hands. And then I'm just going to cover my face. Take a nice inhalation and exhalation. And just distribute the oils evenly on the face. You already have a nice amount of oils from the massage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just begin right here on my chin. And I'm going to use my ring fingers because I like to have that just that gentle, subtle um, touch, not too much pressure, but enough pressure to where you can feel a little release of tension. So you're going to come right on here on either side of your chin and just do clockwise, gentle, uh, small circles. 
you can go up to about a half a minute, 30 seconds here, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll just go about five seconds in each spot. Breathing, exhaling and releasing. Remembering that we are expanding now our little energy centers here. Moving up to the corners of the mouth. Small clockwise circles, slow and deliberate. Mm. Now right up to the corners of the, um, on the sides of the nostril. You can feel a little indentation. I like to add a little extra pressure here. It feels really good, helps to release sinus pressure. If you have allergies or a cold. Coming right up on the uh, bones, uh, the bone of the nose coming down here, right in the center on the side, on either side. Nice, small, circular motions. With Marma points, you can work more energetically or you can really get in like how you would with acupressure and traditional Chinese medicine and press a little deeper. Either way, you are helping to clear uh, stagnant energy and helping to open up all of those beautiful channels so that the prana can flow. We're moving out a little bit more here into the cheekbone. And it's interesting when you do this enough, you can sort of begin to feel little crevices and little areas where your fingers just want to stay. They just kind of fall into these little um, indentations naturally. Right under here in the cheekbone, just sort of resting. Now we're going to come up to the orbital bone. And the eyebrow, right at the beginning of the eyebrow, right underneath, you can feel a little hook. Well, you kind of want to hook under right where the orbital bone starts right here. And just press up and move all along. Just slide your way all underneath that orbital bone. This really helps to release all the tension that gets stored in the eye area from all of the screen time and just, you know, fatigue, eye fatigue coming underneath the corners of the eyes here, under this orbital uh, bone here, underneath the eye, there's sort of like an, the inside of the orbital bone. You can sort of feel it. This is gonna require you to just not really dig in, but, but really go in a little bit deeper and just press gently and move along. And this helps to release the, that uh, lymphatic fluid underneath the eye area. And then we can just sweep it away. And then let's just bring it down. And now we're going to come up to the third eye right here, which is located between the eyebrows up just a little bit. And now we're going to start with small circular motions clockwise. And then we're going to expand outward in a nice spiral out into our whole forehead. Remembering to breathe and release. Back in the spiraling towards the center. Giving gratitude to our intuition, to our guidance, our inner knowing. Whatever we are going to be led through this entire season. in every day. Okay. And now we're going to take these three fingers and we're going to come right up here to the top of the forehead. And then the three here will match on either side. And we're just going to come up and imagine an, like an imaginary line right along the center of our head. And we're just going to come and press along and just release any tension that we feel. The crown of our head, we're drawing up energy from our body and we are cultivating clarity, mental clarity, just coming down in the back of our head. 
Okay. And that is really it. That's a very abbreviated uh, version. I'm going to take some rose geranium hydrosol and take a nice inhalation. Mm. And that is a little Marma facial rejuvenation. Thank you so much. And now I'm going to pass the baton over to Dorothea, who's going to lead us through a facial mask. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shirley Jo, for that wonderful facial massage. Well, uh, while we do need rejuvenation at this time of year, so I'm going to move forward into our ritual and I'm going to start out by doing the, um, the rose geranium hydrosol. And then I'm going to mix that into the green clay mask. So I'm gonna start off with a couple of sprays. You go just a little bit on the face, saturate that face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it in with the um, green clay mask. Just kind of wanna form a paste. You have the bowl here and then you just kind of swirl it around until you get a nice creamy paste. You just spray the hydrosol till it feels like you're getting that real creamy paste. And I'm going to start on the chin and just kind of work my way up my face. The green clay is very good for congested skin or just basically to help get rid of any excess oil. It's great for normal combination skin as well as congested skin. Aging skin as well. It has a really clean smell to it. I have a lot of congestion around my eyes, puffiness. Should I try to get as close as I can without getting into it? The eye. You just kind of on like a waterfall and connect the two at the top. And due to the fact we're doing this video, we're just gonna let it sit for a while, but you can do this. I always try to make sure I get the, the hairline because that's where a lot of us have congested pimples that build up in our hormonal area. And I do, sometimes I just like to take the brush and go around my eyes. Give yourself a real nice relaxing mask. I'd like to do these masks at night. Um, so the skin, the cells rejuvenate and turn over better at night. So it gives yourself a chance to, uh, for it to stay on and give you that quality time to take care of yourself and release and expand upon your thoughts and just forget about the day and forget about the things in the past and allow yourself to move forward and tell yourself that you're good enough and just rejuvenate this time of year. Um, we're talking about uh, fall and autumn rituals. So it's just a great time for you to reset your new boundaries and to move forward in life. So as you let the mass sit, you just meditate on things that are positive things to let go, things to help you move forward and make you a better person, things that are all about helping others and things about things that are better in the future. We've been through a lot this past two years, but we always have to let things go and start fresh anew. Mm, so this is that time that you take that time for you so as uh, you can let this mask sit anywhere from five to 10 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. 
have a wonderful fall here and get ready to get your towel. And you just kind of put it on your face. I always press it into my face to make sure that I get it all off. As I remove it, I feel renewed, refresh. The skin feels renewed, refresh. As we get it all off. And then as we finish, I go back with the Tulsi, the Hydrosol, and just spray, you know, 15 to 20 follow. Mm, just inhale. This is one of my favorite ones. And then I set it a little bit with the the um, the pomegranate serum. Mix a couple of those together and emulsify those together. Anytime that you feel that there's not in um, too much oil, you're welcome to always. Spray the hydrosols of the soul again, just to kind of balance the oil out in your skin. So as I finish, I just inhale and take a couple of deep breaths for me and just tell myself that this is going to be a better day. Tomorrow is going to be a better day. The seasons are going to be better and we're going to make it through this season. So as I bring back on the other estheticians, I'd like for everybody to come back on. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Lindsay. Thank you for this time. I hope you take time for yourself and know that you are good enough. Thank you. Thank you, Dorothea. That was so beautiful. And I feel so wonderful after having experienced all of this. Um, thank you everyone for joining us today and taking some time for yourself to experience our beautiful autumn skin ritual facial. Thank you to all of our estheticians for sharing your depth of knowledge and your peaceful healing energy. It's always so wonderful to spend time with you. Um, I hope you all enjoy the rest of fall and this beautiful autumn that we're having. I know it's one of my favorite times of the year. And so thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.